Ozempic, it's become a household name. And along with a whole new class of drugs, GLP-1-like medications, it has changed how we treat and even think about obesity as a disease. But exactly how do they work? Well, let me show you. Every time you eat, all sorts of hormones are released into the body. These are called post-nutrient hormones. Now, these medications mimic those hormones, since some people don't seem to produce as many. The hormones travel over here, to the pancreas, to kick out more insulin to help you absorb the energy you just ate. And that's why it started as a diabetes drug. They also travel over here, to your gut, to slow down the emptying of your stomach. That allows you to better digest your food and also feel full. But here's the most important part. They also travel here, to the hypothalamus in your brain, to tell you that you are full, that you are satiated. This impact on the brain is one of the biggest changes people on these drugs talk about because it seems to quiet their food chatter. Food chatter is like having a little voice in your head constantly telling you to eat. For some people, the volume of that chatter is low enough that they can ignore it, maybe they don't have it at all, but for others, it's on full blast. These hormones help turn down that volume. And all of this combined leads to people losing weight. But it is important to know that weight includes not just fat, but muscle as well. Losing too much muscle can lead to falls and potentially a shorter lifespan. So that is something people on these drugs really need to take into account. There have also been these studies that have shown this impact on the brain has curbed other addictive habits, like drinking or smoking. We now know that more than half the people who start these medications stop taking them within 12 weeks. So clearly, these medications can be really helpful for some people, but not for everyone.